Here's the thing. The Chinese government almost never says anything you wouldn't expect. That's their thing, their gimmick. They're incredibly careful, reserved, at least with their tongues. So when the Chinese president orders his military to prepare for war, serious indeed. He urged the military to concentrate on advancing readiness for war. The Chinese are preparing for war out loud. How, oh how, did we get to this? Well, Trump, for one, aside from lambasting the Chinese at every opportunity, his tariffs, his sanctions, his trade war, he's also being very heavy-handed. Congress has just approved a second arms deal with Taiwan in 18 months. The sales of weapons by the United States to Taiwan damages China's sovereignty and security interests. Beijing sees China and Taiwan as two parts of a whole, two Chinese entities, same culture, ethnicity, same languages, with two separate governments, communist, capitalist. The end goal is to reunite into one state. There are differences, of course, currently preventing that, and about 100 kilometers of sea that separate the two. And Trump always a fan of sticking it to the Chinese. He's been floating his warships right between the two Chinas. We have expressed our concerns to the U.S. side. The Taiwan issue concerns China's sovereignty and territorial integrity and is the most important and sensitive issue in China-U.S. relations. For starters, how about you express your concerns about these important and sensitive issues to someone who cares a little more? Because that ain't Trump. Are you worried about negative reaction? I'm not worried about anything. I don't worry about things. Hakuna Matata must be great never worrying about anything. Unfortunately, others are. There are those in China who believe that America wants Taiwan to declare independence, and the Chinese are preparing for that eventuality, militarily. We are resolute to defeat any scheme or act of Taiwan independence in any form. Thing is, the Taiwanese don't really see a point to defending themselves. Taiwan, which recently switched from a conscription to a volunteer army, is having huge trouble recruiting. Even reserve troops are dodging their duty. After all, what's the point? They'd never win. The government needs to think whether it's necessary to bring conscription back if they think national security matters. But Taiwan is a minor player in this confrontation. If war does break out, it'll likely be the People's Republic of China slogging it out with the United States rather than Taiwan. And that is a war that Trump really, really ought to be worried about. The world is really at a crossroad, uh, facing uh, major threats to world peace and development. Between China and the United States, the tensions are getting more and more acute, and uh, the United States has been pushing China around, humiliating China, and imposing unilateral tariffs on the Chinese exports. China does not want to have a trade war with the United States. China does not want to have armed conflict with the United States. But if the United States really wants to impose these things onto China, Chinese people will be formally mobilized behind the Chinese government and the Chinese military.